I'm starting off this DIY project with Dollar Tree Wreath. Now this one has a shape of a football. I grabbed it quickly because all kinds of ideas were just splurging in my head. And there's one in particular that I would love to try out first and that is to spray paint everything gold. After that, I'm gonna be covering up the middle part with mirror tiles and these mirror tiles come in a full sheet, but I'm gonna be cutting them into singular strips and cutting out the exact size that I'll be needing to cover up the middle part. For those of you who would love to try this out in your home, the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. I'll be attaching the cutout strips with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. So basically, all I'm going to be doing here is attaching all of the mirror tiles to the wires. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to be covering up the top and the bottom of this with something entirely different. And I'll be using roses made out of hot glue. I'm going to be using hot glue and pouring it inside the mold. This will require a little bit of patience because the hot glue gun is not going to work as fast as it should when you start putting in the glue on the second mold and the third mold. So you're going to have to wait. Luckily for me, I have two hot glue guns that I kept changing to make this faster. After some minutes, when it was dry, I took them out and this is what it looks like. Now the edges are going to be cut because I don't like the fan shape that's by the sides. So I'm going to cut that off with scissors. Like I said earlier, the mold comes in two. So this is the second one that's in pink. And as I was doing this, I made sure that I filled up the blue and the pink mold together at the same time. Now I did this three times to get as much mold as I can get. And then when they were dry, I took them out and I spray painted them gold. You'll notice that some are not shiny and that is because they were not totally dry from the mold before I took them out. That's why they look like that. So I'll advise that you wait for the glue to dry before you take them out from the mold. I also made smaller roses. I'll attach the bigger roses first and then I'll finish it off with the smaller roses. This is a unique wall lighting idea and these parts that were open are supposed to be covered so I'm going to be using crystals to cover them up. These are transparent so they're perfect to cover up the spaces. I'm going to be using wire to slide it through the holes in the crystals and then make a hook with it. That way I can easily just have this mounted on the wires that are on the football wreath. The push light is going to be on the wall by itself and the nail as well for hanging is going to be at the top. Now all I'm going to do is mount what I've made over the lighting. I use remote control push lights for the lighting and the link for that is going to be down in the description box below.
These wall sconces are so unique and I love the glam that it adds to the space. And another interesting thing about them is they can be moved at any time. Here's another super interesting lighting idea that's for the table. I'm going to be starting off with a balloon, fill it up with air, and then cover it up with a strong adhesive first, and then use a unique item around the adhesive to hold it tightly in place while the adhesive sets. This is the adhesive that I used, and you can get this from any hardware store. It is important that you put a generous amount of adhesive around the balloon to make sure that it gives the item that will be coming on a firm hold. I got this from Hobby Lobby and they're pretty heavy in a way, so that's why I had to apply a generous amount of glue to the balloon before attaching this to it. I'm going to be starting off by pressing it down firmly, starting from the middle, and then working my way down to the bottom. I applied hot glue in between the links. I'll also recommend using another adhesive that's not as thick as the one that I use in attaching the chain to the balloons. Now that's gonna keep everything in place after it's dry. You can see here that I went back and used the same adhesive all around because I didn't have another type with me at home, but I would strongly recommend using another type that's not as thick as this one, just so that when it's all dried, it would look clear. After two days, I popped and removed the balloon. And all I did was put a lighting inside and place it on a table. If you like, you can have this suspended from a ceiling. But for me, I just kept this on a table and I love the way it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.